Hi, it's um, Duncan here again. People have been asking me how an encoder works using OC USB mapper. So I thought I'd give a, uh, show you an example of how I got the landing altitude um, encoder to work. So for this example, I've, um, I've just got a, a USB card connected to a master card and off that just got one inputs card. Now I've connected up an encoder to it. Um, the black wire is going to ground. The white wire is going to position zero. And the red wire is going to position one. So as you can see, I've got the data ref tool up and this is position zero and this is position one. Now as I turn the encoder slowly to the right, it becomes one zero, then it becomes one one, then it becomes zero one, and then it comes back to zero zero. So there's actually four states. Now if I move it left, it goes from zero zero to zero one to one one to one zero and back to zero. So what I've tried to do here is write out the four states. So when we're going clockwise, you had zero, zero in binary, which is equal to zero in decimal. One, zero, which is equal to two in decimal. One, one, which is equal to three in decimal. And zero, one, which is equal to one in decimal. So when the values are converted to decimal and they, and they, and they go from zero to two, to 3, to 1, back up to 0, then you know you're moving the encoder clockwise. And likewise for anti-clockwise, I've converted the binary values to decimal. So if you're going 0, 1, 3, 2, and back to 0, then you know you're going anti-clockwise. So if, if we just have a look at the um, code here, I've created uh, two variables, one for the landing altitude value, its previous value, and one for acceleration. So this encoder has actually got acceleration in it. And also here I've defined the data ref landing altitude and it just looks up the pressurization knob for the landing altitude. So whenever it says Boeing 737 data ref landing altitude, it's actually just reading this data ref here. So this is the subroutine process encoders. Now this, this gets executed every single frame. So the first thing it does is it converts um, position 0 and position 1 from a um, binary number into a hexi, into a decimal number. So, you know, it'll either be 0, 1, 2 or 3. And here what we're doing is we're detecting when, it's, when something is moving right. If it was previously 0 and it's now changed to 2, or it was 2 and it's gone to 3, or it was 3 and it's gone to 1, or it was 1 and it's gone to 0, then we know it's moving right. And the same for moving left. When it's had a value of 0 and now it's got a value of 1, or 1 and 3, 3 and 2, 2 and 0, then you know it's moving left. So what do we do when it's moving right? We increase the acceleration value which started at 0. So if I move it right, once per frame if, it, if i keep moving right every single frame the acceleration the first time through on the first frame will be one next time it'll be two next time it'll be three so what i do is i increase the landing altitude value by itself and it goes up in lots of 50 and it goes up by the acceleration value so if i'm very slowly moving the encoder right 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 the acceleration will always be one and it will only move up by 50 each time you turn it right however if you've 
been sl turning it right over the last five frames, the acceleration value will be five and it will move up by two, 50 times five, which is 250. So the landing altitude will jump by 250. So it's, it's the same thing when you're moving left. Um, as, as, as you move left, your acceleration is increasing and the landing altitude is going down by the acceleration value and you you may ask why I add one each time but basically by the time you pause with your hand and start going left the accelerations drop back down to zero and it doesn't matter whether it's a positive or negative number so what actually happens when when you're actually not moving every frame so say the say you'd been moving the encoder right for the last five frames and it got up to a value of five the moment you stop moving the encoder and it's not moving left and it's not moving right the acceleration will go down by one each frame until it reaches zero and then it will stop going down in the final thing I hear has got uh, I don't want the landing altitude to go below 200 feet so that's just to check to if it does go below 200 to put it back to negative 200 feet sorry and then the last thing you do is you sign the previous value of the landing altitude to its current value so so that's how you always got this previous value And that's basically it. So I'll just give you an example. If you actually look at the landing altitude and I move it slowly right, it just jumps up 300, 350, 400. But if I consistently move the encoder right every frame, you'll notice it jumps up a lot faster. Yeah, they're up to 20,000 just because I managed to turn it cons consistently every frame. So I'll try going down. Not too bad. Not very good. Yeah, anyway. So that's how you code it and encoder using USB, sorry, OC USB mapper. And not only is it just going up and down, it's actually got acceleration built into it. Thank you.